Hey everybody, welcome. It's Timmy here with Chaka Tour. It is oh a little later than I normally go live, so if you're around, I'd love it if you'd come on in and say hi and let me know you're here. Tonight we're going to be working on a project using plain old boring canvases. So, you know, this canvas that you can get at the craft store. Um, saw this fun technique that I wanted to give a try and share with you. So, um, we're going to be using one of the new transfers that arrived this week. And I'm so sorry, I feel like I'm squinting really bad. I don't know why. My eyes just must be tired from all this computer work uh, lately. But um, I am tired, but I'm so excited, as always, just to be here with you and and you guys lift me up and lift my spirits. So again, I am Timmy and I am an independent designer and master mentor with Chalk Couture. And that means that I get to come to you and share some awesome home DIY decor. Oh my goodness. Some great DIY home decor projects with you. Oh yeah, see it's one of those days. I think I need to just go to sleep. I'm not sure why I'm so crazy today, but I'm definitely feeling kind of crazy. It's probably all this stuff that's going on. I'm trying really hard to ignore the news. I don't know about you, but my best uh, bet has been to definitely just ignore all the craziness that's going on around us. But I um, I think it's still affecting my brain, definitely. I think it's still with us. Hey, I see Amanda is here and Cheryl is with me. Oh, I'm so happy you guys are here. Thanks for joining. Hey, Cheryl, welcome. So um, we have a new project going on here, and I'm just going to take a minute, make sure that I share this off to my VIP group. If you're watching this on the replay and seeing this, seeing me for the first time, maybe you don't know anything about my VIP group. So let me just tell you, it's a place uh, that I call the, my Style Innovators Group, and it's where we all hang out and chat about all things home decor related, uh, life related. And it's also where I can post some special deals and bundles. I have one going on right now in my VIP group. So if you want to join, you can just go ahead and type in VIP or you can uh, click the group link at the top of this page and uh, you can get there as well. Uh, the project here that we're going to focus on is right here. So we are going to be, thanks Cheryl. So I totally love it when you spread the chalk love and uh, share my videos. When you do that, it enters you into my drawing for my weekly giveaway. Cheryl was last week's winner, and at this pace, she might be this week's winner as well. But uh, give her a run for our money, and be sure to share the chalk love out there and get yourself entered into some happy mail drawings from me. Um, so the transfer that we're gonna be using today is um, this. Um, is called let's see what is it called it is part of our live deeply collection and it's called endless wonder there you go endless wonder easy to remember right um this is part of our whole nautical themed chalk story and i think it's going to be super fun to work with um, as the summer is coming i don't know about you but i love going to the beach it's one of my favorite happy places for sure and um, right now we could all use a little bit of happy places, I'm betting, right? So um, this is going to be the first in a series of uh, designs that we're going to use with this transfer and others from the collection. The collections are really cool because what um, the Chalk Couture designer team has done is they have actually put together several different transfers that work in conjunction with one another so you can mix and match them and get your really own perfect uh, result. So um, I think you're going to really love this one for the summer, especially if you're a nautical lover. Now, what we're going to do with our canvas is we're actually going to paint it first. I know, right? The beach is totally an awesome, happy place, isn't it? So what we're going to do is we're just going to kind of brush it, whitewash it almost kind of quickly. And I found this um, acrylic paint here in my... Um, bucket of old paints. I went through a bunch of them today and chucked a lot of them because they were old and dry. But um, this one uh, survived and it's baby blue. And I'm going to show you how we can brush it onto the surface and then use this as the, the uh, surface for our beautiful Endless Wonder transfer. So first thing I got to do, of course, is open this guy. 
Now, I don't know about you, have any of you tried the reverse canvas technique um, using these little canvases? That's also really cool too. Um, what you can do is actually um, cut the transfer or the canvas off of your board um, of this frame and then inside this is an actual frame. You can uh, chalk on the other side, the reverse side of this and then put it right back on the front and it's really gorgeous. It's a really cool technique. Um, but we're not doing that today. We're not doing any reverse canvas, but I was just curious if y'all had tried that. That's a big thing going on now. Barbara's back. Hey, Barbara. Welcome, welcome. Since you've been gone on vacation, we have um, instituted a whole new program here on my uh, Chalk Couture business page. We are giving away weekly, weekly, let's see if that's enough. I'm going to add a little more here. Uh, weekly giveaways uh, to folks who share the chalk love. So if you share this video up to uh, your timeline, um, then that will get you entered into the drawing for some happy mail from me. So got special treats for you every week, something new. So all I did is this is a really old Ucky paintbrush, cheapy, cheapy, nothing um, important, and uh, plain old acrylic paint. And we're just going to brush it. And we're really not looking to cover really the whole thing. We just want to kind of give it a whitewash feel. So right, you don't have to be a painter or a designer to do this. It's super easy. That's all really we want to do. And um, we're going to let this dry. And it won't take too long because it's pretty thin. And we're going to set it aside. Again, this is the baby blue that we used. I did this one a little bit earlier. So it's all set for us to go ahead and chalk on. So this one I did a little bit lighter. You'll see I didn't put as much on. Um, so how much you put on is totally up to you, whatever you like. And that's it. We don't need that anymore. I can put that away. And since this one's dry, we're ready to go ahead and chalk. I know you do have to catch up, but you know what? It's so awesome being away and on vacation. And I know you didn't quite have the uh, vacation that you had hoped you were going to have. It sounds like you had a really good time too. So I'm glad you got away before it was difficult to do so. Such a hard time right now with travel. And um, I know it's kind of tough sometimes to be sitting home. Um, so I hope that you're enjoying these lives and giving you a little motivation maybe to try a new craft or maybe even just to do something uh, for yourself. So we want to cut apart this transfer. You can see there's a cut line here and then a cut line here. So each of these are going to be individual and my plan is to use one on each of these canvases here. And then I have some, I love these little cotton blossoms. I have some cotton blossoms here and I have some raffia down below. And I think it'll be fun to see what we can do with those and um, give it this a little bit of an embellishment. I also have some shells galore. I'm a shell collector. Every time I go to Florida, I'm always um, getting more shells out and about. So I may have a few that I want to add on there. So we've got our cute little starfish and we've got our mollusk. And then we'll have to decide if we want to put this endless wonder on or not. Hey, Carrie, you're here. Nice to see you. Welcome. Welcome. Great to have you. Um, all right. The chalk paste color we're going to use is called Ice Coffee. So this actually um, was one of our En Vogue colors from last year. Uh, last year, last season. Oh, my goodness. Um, it isn't available any longer. But um, if you have it on hand, I thought this would be fun to use on this blue and kind of keep in this nautical theme. Almond, I think, would also work really well as well. So if you don't have this iced coffee on hand, try the nautical. I think that might be nice. And here we go. Simple, right? We're just going to peel back this design from the backer sheet. And I have to decide, let's see, should we go horizontal or vertical? I'm kind of thinking that maybe if we go vertical and we bring it a little higher up, then we can use some of that raffia to really um, give this a little extra oomph. 
So this is a canvas, and so since it's a canvas, I didn't bother to fuzz the transfer. Um, so no worries about needing to do that. And I am going to just dab some of the chalk paste here on. And then, of course, use our squeegee to spread it. So super easy, super simple, super relaxing. This is going to be another really quick project, right? That's one of the great things about Chalk Couture. It doesn't take a lot of time. And cleanup is almost as simple as actually the chalking part. Just a little bit of water and voila, it comes right up. So I just want to make sure that we're actually getting into the canvas there. But we've already got a little layer of paint, of course, we know that, so that should be okay. And of course, you know I'm all nailless, people. So let me grab another one of my little stirring sticks here. And grab a corner. There we go. And Look at that. Isn't that pretty? I do like that iced coffee. I think it was really a gentle color. So you can see how that looks. I was also thinking the shimmers might be fun to put on there, but I kind of like this. Just really simple, light, very nice. And this one's probably not quite dry yet, but I do have my heat tool. So let's go ahead and give that a little blast. You know what, I'll do this one too. And that way we can go ahead and do some embellishments as well. So what are you guys all doing to keep yourself occupied? Wow. We're staying at home. Are you finding things to keep yourself busy? Are you spending a little bit more time at home with your family? Are you reading more? Are you catching up on a good book? <laughs> yes, definitely. Good time to be doing some talking. Yep, yep, I know. Definitely. It's a good time. We've been doing lots of projects, Barbara, while you've been gone. So, yes, lots to catch up on there. And I'm definitely impatient, so I love, 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 love that um, we can use the heat tool to hurry some things along. Look at that. It's already dry. Fast, fast, right? I know. Doesn't it? It looks just like something you'd get at the store. But you know what? It was just a simple, simple piece of canvas. And it's just cool how you can just add a little extra something to it, and it really stands out. So... I am loving that. I'm thinking that we might use the Endless Wonder, but I think I'm gonna cut it and we're gonna stack it. That's what I think. So we'll do Endless Wonder down here, maybe even something like that. And then we'll add the Mollusk up here. What do you think? <laughs> You're working and cleaning cabinets. Oh, cleaning cabinets. What a great idea. Definitely need to be cleaning cabinets always. The cabinets always seem to be needing to be cleaned at my house. I don't know what it is, but I feel like I've been doing a lot of cooking and a lot of cleaning. Lots and lots of cleaning. I was thinking of you, Cheryl, and I wondered if uh, you were still working or if customers were canceling. Um, I hope that you are able to get to work if you want to. Ah, crafting, buying, crafting. No, huh? No quarantine. You know what? Today here in Connecticut, um, or I guess it started last night, uh, we closed all restaurants, bars, casinos, movie theaters. What am I missing? Um... Pretty much they have said any um, unnecessary travel, um, any really any unnecessary need to leave your house. No manicures, pedicures, hairdressers, all of those are closed in Connecticut. 
And the grocery stores, as we already talked about, are just crazy. So we're just not going to even go there. Um, so, yeah, a lot of people can't even get out, carry, and get um, craft supplies. So you can definitely grab them, of course, online in my shop. So if you need something, you can definitely go grab what you'd like there. And we have some great new transfers, as you know. We're having fun playing with these canvases, aren't we? And look at the color change, really. These are the same colors, and it's drying a nice darker brown, which I really like. When it goes on, it's not drying quite as, um, it's not quite as dark as when it dries. Well, you know, one thing we could do is we could put Endless Here and Wonder Here. I should have brought this down a little if I was going to do that, but that would be kind of cute. What do we think? Should we do that? Aren't these fun? You know, and I, um, it's very funny. I redid my bathroom. Oh gosh, it's been a couple of years now. And for some reason, it's one room in the house that I have not really added anything to the walls. And I have a really big soaking tub and I think it's time that I put some stuff on the walls. And I think I'm going nautical. I already kind of started. It's um, a light gray bathroom. Um, and I'm definitely thinking some light blues would be really restful in there. So maybe these are gonna go above the tub, along with maybe that cute, um, what do we have? That crazy octopus, remember I showed you him? And the, um, what else do we have in that little series? We have the octopus. Oh, look at that. I like it. I like it. This will be nice to tie this together, I think. Um, octopus and what else do we have? Oh, the big um, coral. That would be really pretty there too, I think. So there we go. I'm going to put wonder over here. And we're almost done here. Isn't that fun how fast this is? I wonder if it was the heat tool that uh, dried the color or if it's just that I have a little bit more blue on this canvas than I did here that changed the color a little bit. What do you think, guys? Yeah, you think it'll be good in the bathroom? I got to show you the bathroom. Next time I uh, go in there, I'll show you. I've started a little bit. I do have some nautical stuff in there, um, which is making me think that's why I should go nautical. But it is my happy place, so why not, right? There we go. And so yet another example of the way that you can use our transfers on a whole different surface. I love doing that, you know, because it always surprises me every time when we uh, break out a new surface and try something new. Uh, one of the things that I um, was working on this morning um, before work started was a cute little kit using our spring minis and ended up making this cute little bag. So these cute little bags I found um, in a pack of, I don't know, 13 of funny, right? And uh, I thought this would be super cute to put some of our minis on. So that's, uh, by the way, the little kit that I have available. So if you're looking for a cute, quick project, that might be fun to look at. And you can see that more in my VIP group. So yeah, so uh, this is definitely a different color. Isn't that really interesting? So no, Carrie, thankfully, um, they stopped his travel and he's working from home um, for the next couple of weeks. So I'm really happy about that. I'd rather him not be on the road if he doesn't have to. And we actually just got off the phone with our son who's out in Arizona. He made his... Uh, switch over to his new station and he is um, settled in and should be nice and safe there so I'm happy about that as well everyone seems to be uh, where they need to be for the time being all right Raffi is crazy let's see what we can find with this Raffi a mess here and see if we can put something together that's gonna look nice you know me I'm usually kind of winging this all you know and tonight is no different I was like, what do I have that I could use to put this all together and add a little embellishment? And I thought, oh, let's try some raffia. So the thing with raffia is they're usually really long strips that kind of have no end. 
Yep. And here we go. Let's see. I think we're going to try to put it up here on this one because that's where I have a little bit more room. So I think we're going to add some in there. Now, you know, the other thing you could do with these is if you have a really nice frame, you can just pop these little canvases right inside an open frame. I think for now, this is going to be just a canvas. And I'm just making a simple bow. There we go. We've got a little bit of that. We've got some extra here, little crazies. Crazies we want to chop off. There we go. What do you think? Are we liking where this is going? I think so. I think it's going kind of cute. My sister is a beach girl. She lives at the beach. She's at the Cape. It's a gorgeous little area. And someday I hope to get there myself and find a little extra place to live or have a beach cottage. And this would be fun in there, too. Maybe I need to start getting ready for my beach house, huh? What do you think? All right, so there is one. And this one, because I kind of had it in the middle, I'm almost wondering if I should try to add another piece, but kind of break it up in the middle. What's nice is if I change my mind, I can always move it. Yeah, Cheryl, I'm glad he doesn't have to as well. Makes me happy that everyone is pretty stationary and settled for the time being. I hope all of your loved ones are as well. Carrie, is your uh, husband nearby? Is he having to go in? Or is he pretty uh, set where he is at the moment? It's a little hard when our husbands are moving around and traveling. I'm very fortunate to have a job that allows me to work from home because this has not been a really huge transition for me, but I know it's a huge transition, right, for um, so many who are not used to being home. And I said it must be really tough for those of us who have young younger kids and they're also having to do homeschooling. Um, I hope that if that defines you, that you're all doing well, you're enjoying this time with your family, but also making some time for yourself as well because with all this craziness, we all need a little time also to ourselves. But you all know that, right? You can tell I'm rambling tonight because I'm really tired. Down the right side, oh, maybe this way. I think that is a great idea. I don't like this here in the middle, so I think we're gonna give that a try. Great idea. Thank you, see? That's why it's so awesome that we do this together because you all give me great ideas. Let's see. I'm going to grab another piece because I'm going to go the long way. I think that's a great idea. You think on this side or this side? On the right? I think you mentioned. So let's try the right. we got raffia everywhere. Ah, supposed to be where you're stationed. Okay, well that's good. Hopefully... Everything will be secure and safe. I'm glad that things aren't really too hectic where you are right now. I'm afraid it's going to just continue to escalate a little. So while it does, we're just going to chalk, right? We're just going to chalk and chat. Um, I've had to cancel all of my in-home workshops, but I'm really seriously considering trying to do some virtual workshops. So if that sounds like something of interest that you want to give a try, um, what we'll do is we'll decide on a project and I'll go live just for you and a group of your friends and we'll do the project together. Um, you can order all the supplies that you'll need right on my website and then I will go through and give you lots of different ideas and techniques to try together as a group. So um, if that sounds like fun, let me know and we can see if we can get something scheduled for you. Oh, Mr. Steve is in the back corner, but... I'm in a little space, so you probably can't see him. But there we go, let's see. So we've got our little bow here in the corner, and Carrie gave us this great suggestion about putting it on the right side. <gasps> Toilet paper's all gone. Toilet paper's gone everywhere. It is just really silly. Uh, we cannot figure out what it is about toilet paper that everyone is all excited about. But um, 
I don't know. It's kind of crazy. I just don't know. I don't know if we want these cotton balls, if they're going to work or not. I'm going to clip one off and we'll decide. And you all could tell me if you think it goes or it doesn't. Probably going to ruin my scissors here trying to cut these. Ugh. I might just be, so maybe I better be mis stop misbehaving and try it with some wire cutters off camera because I don't have any wire cutters and I don't want to ruin my good scissors. So that's it, folks. You'd love the coloring one. Chalk and chat is a great name for you. Yeah, as a matter of fact, uh, that's me. I'm a chalk and chatter, right? Um, that is my friend Brenda's actually group name. She is called uh, Chalk and Chat. So um, great team name. But that's it, guys. I hope you had fun watching. I just love hanging out with you guys. And I'm so glad that you joined me tonight. I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow with another new idea. And maybe we'll just continue to expand on this whole uh, summer nautical theme. Maybe, maybe. Can you tell I'm tired? My eyes are like half closed. I don't know what's with me today. But until later, we'll see you. Bye, guys. Thanks for joining me. Take care.